got a special pickup video for you guys today. This time I have some items from some fellow YouTubers. Uh, some of them was some trades. Um, some of them was some of them were just gifts. So it was really awesome. Uh, the first set of items here was sort of a trade. Um, basically, what it was is my friend from Twitter, uh, my good friend Zoe, said that she had a Wonder Swan and she had a couple of them that she was refurbishing and fixing up. And I just commented and said, that's really awesome. You know, I'd never um, had a chance to see them, check them out, play with them, you know, touch them, whatever. Um, and she actually um, private messaged me and said, if you would like, I would send you one. And I'm like, oh, wow, that's way too generous, you know? Like, I was just curious about them. She said, oh, no, absolutely. So, you know, I couldn't leave any stone unturned. So I had actually sent her some items um, in exchange for this. But this was the package that showed up, and it was really awesome. And if I remember, she said this was like a promo item or something or an extra from doing something. I can't remember. But it, I haven't opened it yet. But it's for me and my daughter's Pokemon collection. I collect Pokemon cards with my daughter, which is really cool. Um, but that is, um, here is Magikarp. Um, and it's just, you know, your basic Magikarp card. It is foiled, which is kind of neat. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. So that will be added to me and my daughter's collection. So that's pretty neat. The next item here is actually pretty sweet. And uh, that is a drawstring bag for Lego. You guys know I like Lego. And it is Lego Harry Potter. So it's got, you know, the different, um, what do you call it? You know, like Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, all that stuff. Um, the the uh, coat of arms, whatever you call it. Uh, so that's pretty awesome. I love drawstring bags. These are what I use when I go video game hunting. So that'll be really awesome. And here, the last item, um, which was actually the big item here that I talked about was a Wonder Swan, which is really awesome. She actually had multiple colors and she asked me, you know, um, what color would I like? I said, you know what, um, dealer's choice, whatever you would like to send me. So I thought it was awesome that I got the pink one sent to me. And I have tested it out and tried this. I plan on doing a separate video just based on this, but I wanna get a couple more games to get some more, um, you know, um, information and footage for you guys, obviously more detail, but it's pretty awesome. Um, you can see that there's multiple face buttons um, that does different functionalities and stuff in the game, but it's really cool. I did try it out and the game, I can't pronounce it. It says Trump Collection, <laughs> which is kind of hilarious. Um, huge, huge, uh, but it's basically from what I gathered was like a kind of like a poker game. Uh, but yeah, so I plan on getting more games for this. So that was really awesome. I'm super stoked to have Wonder Swan in the collection. That was really awesome. Really cool of you to send that to me, Zoe. Thank you very much. And she actually does have her own channel right now. Um, I'll leave all the information down below. As you can see behind me, it, um, she does a lot of tech videos, which is really sweet. Um, she's starting off pretty slow. So let's go give her love, guys. So the next... Um, box here was from my buddy Detenjul. You guys heard me mention his name quite a few times here on the channel. He is one of my best friends in life. And uh, I had sent him some items a little while ago. So you know how friends go. You know, over the years we just have sent stuff back and forth to each other, which is really awesome. So he sent me some items. And the first couple items here were some games, some loose carts. And the first thing was Mist on um, DS which back in the day, I loved Mist and Riven on the PC. They were really good, you know, like adventure puzzle games and stoked to kind of check this out on DS. So it's probably, if it's just as good as it was on PC, that I'm really gonna like that. Next game here um, was Jungle Strike. Who doesn't love Jungle Strike? Um, I told him that I had, I think I had this one, um, but the other two I didn't have. I have this complete in box, but I do want to get loose cards so that way I can, you know, start to put some of my other ones you know, tucked away and keep them in good condition and have ones just to play and stuff. Um, but this was really awesome. And yeah, Jungle Strike. The next game here is Big 29 Fighter Pilot. Fighter Pilot. <laughs> and of course you guys know it's a jet fighting game. Pretty awesome. Um, a lot of dog fighting games on the Sega Genesis and other consoles. Really awesome. So yeah. The last one here, I actually don't believe I owned at all. 
Uh, I have the first game, I don't have the second. I have the first complete in box. And it's cracked in the front, but that's okay. It does still play. I've um, tested it out so far. And that's X-Men 2 in Clone Wars. So that's really awesome. Um, you know, I have it to play, you know. Um, I can, you know, obviously eventually get an upgrade, whatever, but it does play. I got it to work, so that's pretty stoked. I'm pretty stoked for that. Another item here. Um, he knows that I like spawn a lot, and I did not actually have the uh, cartoon um, animated um, movie. And he told me to check this out, and I hadn't seen it, and it was the DVD version. And he told me that I must check this out. This is actually next on the list to check out. So uh, I absolutely love Spawn. If anyone wants to know um, what my three favorite comic series of all time is, is Spawn, Hellboy, and The Uncanny X-Men. So there you go, guys. That was really awesome. I plan on checking that out soon. And I wouldn't be a Sega Blocks without my metal. You guys know that I like hard rock metal, um, horror punk, you know, on those lines. And he knows that as well. So he sent me some albums too, which I actually didn't know, surprisingly. Um, and the first one here is Slaves, Slaves Shall Serve from Behemoth. Love Behemoth, huge fan, saw them live, really good band, awesome. The next album is actually when I went to Mayhem Fest the one year, they were actually doing their tour, and this is right when Deceiver of the Gods came out album, and that's the album he sent me. I'm really shocked that I don't have this. I don't know why, but I didn't. So that's really awesome. Who doesn't love Amon Amarth? Viking metal man all the way. And this actually was really awesome because when he sent this, I had just started getting into suffocation. And this is um, the pinnacle of Bedlam, which is a heavy ass album, guys. Suffocation, if you're in the metal and you don't know suffocation, definitely go check it out because this is some good shit. Thanks again, Joel. I really appreciate that, man. Alrighty, this last item I actually still have in the box here. So we'll be checking this out. And see if I can keep it from falling. So, <laughs> my buddy Tiger Chainsaw, I had sent him some, several times sent him some items. And you know, over the times I told him, you know, you don't have to worry about sending anything back um, on those lines, you know. I don't, I'm not expecting anything back from anyone ever, but he, um, I had a package show up at the house and <laughs> sure enough, you know, I love my Mexican candy, love spicy candy. And he had sent me a whole bunch. He sent me, um, some, um, uh, I'm going to butcher the names on some of these, um, Raya Rindos, Raya, I think that's how you pronounce that. Um, some Palarindas. Elotas, obviously. Um, Paparindo, I think that's how you pronounce it. And Torugos, I'm not even going to try. You know, um, little white guy trying to pronounce it, I'm not even going to try. Uh, but thanks again, um, Tiger Chainsaw, that was awesome. I'm definitely going to be jumping into those very soon. So the next item here was pretty sweet. He had asked me a while back if I had got into any kind of um, gamer magazines. And I said that I had a few, but not very many, hadn't got into it. But this one here was actually pretty freaking awesome. And that's Retro Gamer Magazine. And it's completely still sealed, guys. Um, this was really awesome. Just checking on the back here. It looks like it covers a whole bunch of the 16-bit war on the front here. Sega versus Nintendo, which is awesome. Love me some Sega. But on the back, there's like... I don't know if they're stickers or they're like title cards or whatever, but you have the Master System, Sega um, Mega Drive, um, obviously, the N64, you have the Neo Geo Pocket Color, the NES, the PC Engine, PlayStation, just all kinds. Um, the SG-1000, the Saturn, um, Apex Trex is even on there, Video Pack G7000, um, just some random stuff, man. It's really cool. But I can't wait to check this out. Um, yeah, really freaking um, pretty good size, um, thick magazine, too. But the final item here, final item of the pickup video, and the final item of my buddy Seth's um, package, Tiger Chainsaw, was Mario Kart 7 on the 3DS. This is one of two um, games that I had never played for the Mario Kart franchise. 
One was Mario Kart 7, and I believe the other one is the one that's on GBA. Um, is that Super Circuit, I believe? And this is one of the only two that I hadn't actually had a chance to play. Um, but I'm super stoked to have this. Love my 3DS. Love Mario Kart franchise. So that was really awesome. But yeah, guys. Some more um, some packages from some really awesome YouTubers. I will let all of their information down below so you can check out their channels. Really awesome content creators and even better friends. Um, happy to add all these items to the collection too. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys. You know the drill. Stay awesome.